Hi guys, I'm Kiran Deepkor. Welcome to my channel. If you've already not done so, please check out my other YouTube videos. I usually focus on the MCAT, but today's video is a little different. I wanted to focus on another exam that recently became mandatory by many medical schools. This exam is called the CASPER exam. Now, this exam is a psychological exam that tests your judgment to see how good you are at interacting with people, handling dilemmas, and coming up with all possible options and picking the best one. Now, I'm here to go over everything you need to know about the CASPER exam how to schedule it, when to schedule it, the fees, as well as how to prepare for it. Now, it's probably quite obvious that this is not something that you can memorize, but you can still prepare for it and I'll tell you how. So let's get started. All right, so before I go into how to prepare for this exam, I'm gonna go over the technical stuff. This exam is 60 to 90 minutes. You will be taking it wherever you want to take it. You just need access to Wi-Fi, a laptop, a PC, whether it's a quiet place or wherever you're comfortable taking it, just remember that you will be playing videos because some of the questions are video based. So it has to be a place where either you can play the video out loud or you can put on headphones, whatever it is that you're comfortable with, pick a place with Wi-Fi, a laptop, somewhere that you can listen to videos. That being said, there will be a 15 minute optional break. I personally recommend taking that break because it is a lot of typing. You will be given 12 different scenarios. Each scenario will have three questions and you have to answer each section within five minutes. So you'll be given a certain amount of time to watch a video or read the question. So there are two types of questions. There is video based and word based. And I'll go back and go into more detail of how to prepare for this and everything. But there are two types of questions, video based and word based. You'll be given a separate time to go over your question. And then you'll be given only five minutes to answer three questions. So you'll be doing a lot of typing within this time. So I highly recommend taking that 15 minute break. If you're a fast typer and you're comfortable doing it, you don't have to take it. I personally took it. Now, going on to how this exam is graded, well, each section, the 12 scenarios that you're given, are graded by a different person. So it's not one person grading each section. It's going to be separate people, and these people are trained in a way that they know that you're under a time constraint. So if you look at other resources or even the Casper website, it's usually said that if you're not able to get through all three questions within the five questions, it's okay because they understand that you're under a time constraint but I personally would recommend try to get through all three questions before you take the exam maybe practice typing if you think you're a slow typer but in general the questions are designed in a way that you should be able to get through all three within five minutes but let's say you don't and you skip one or two questions it's said that it's all right. I mean, there's really no way of knowing because scores are never given out. So even though I took the exam and I sat through it and everything, I don't really know how I did. So I'm just basing this all on my experience as well as what I found online, my research, as well as the Casper website. So it's said that it's okay if you miss a question or two and you're not able to get through it. I personally think that it just makes sense to be able to answer all questions to get the best score possible. So before I show you the website and how to schedule your exam, how to pick the date and everything, I'm just gonna let you know that this exam is required by many MD as well as DO schools. You can send the same score automatically to all schools at once. There is a fees for it. Each school is $12. Once you've taken the exam, you will never know how you did. Your score will automatically be sent to every school that you selected. So I'm going to show you how to do this, how to pick a date and everything. Before I go on with this, I'd like to just make one comment. So without a CASPER score, your application will not be looked at. So if you're currently going through the process of applying to medical schools and you know that your school requires a CASPER score, I'd recommend trying to take this exam as soon as possible because you don't want your application to be late just because of this score. So just keep this in mind. Let's take a look at the website. So just look up the Casper website. You can just look it up, type it up, Casper test. Go to the home page and you'll see everything that you need to know about the exam. But if you want to schedule it and learn when to schedule it, just go on date and fees. 
Here they'll go over how to create an account. You need three things. You need a government ID, an email, and a working webcam. And remember that in one cycle, you can only take this exam once. So you're not allowed to take it more than once like the MCAT and there are no refunds. So you can click on browse test dates and time, pick where you're from. So for me, it's United States. Then you can pick what you're taking the exam for, so MD or DO schools, and the same score to both if you're applying to both. And then you just pick which schools you're, you want to send the score to. Once you've taken the exam and they grade it, they'll automatically send it, and you don't have to worry about anything once you've paid in this process. So as you can see, I just picked a random school, and it tells me the last possible test date available for the school. Now be aware that if you're applying to more than one, the date will change and will be impacted. So let's say, see now it's December 1st. If I was to pick another school, it would change. See now it's October 13th. So be careful and try to take the exam as early as possible. So few dates have already passed for the 2020 and the 2021 cycle, but the earliest date now you can take is June 4th. Also keep in mind, leave yourself enough time to prepare for the exam. Now, the exam itself is $12, and then for each school that you send your score to, it's an additional $12 per school, and the scores will be sent automatically. You'll never see them yourself. Now, you can click Reserve Your Test and start scheduling your test date. Now, before we jump into how to tackle the Casper questions, I just want to go over a few key points that you probably are going to come across while you're trying to prepare for this exam. So I've already told you that it's 60 to 90 minutes. There's an optional 15 minute break. You will be typing out all of your answers. There are gonna be 12 sections. Each section is gonna have three questions. There are gonna be two types of questions, video-based and word-based. The video-based will introduce you to some sort of situation that's occurring, whether it's between a group of friends or it's with a patient or whatever it is. You're going to be given some sort of scenario and be asked to answer three questions based off of that video. You will not be allowed to re-watch that video and will be shown all three questions simultaneously. So one trick that I personally learned when I was taking the exam, you want to read through all three questions because I feel like it guides your answer. So the answer to your first question should be something sort of leading to question two and three. So I would recommend reading through all three questions, like I said answer all three questions and let's say you're typing and you run out of time and you're mid-sentence it's okay again the people who are scoring these exams are trained in a way to ignore that fragmented sentence they don't include that in your answer they just kind of ignore it now another thing spelling and grammar do not count that's a big major thing that really like i was like thank god because I'm not good at spelling, especially under time constraint, and you do not have to worry about it. Now, that doesn't mean that's incoherent. It should still sound like English, but it's okay if you have spelling errors and grammar mistakes here and there. But try to make it sound as nice as possible to get your point across, of course. Now, in order to prepare for this exam, there are a couple of things you can do. You can watch a YouTube video like you're watching right now. I will be making one in more in depth as to how to tackle individual questions, especially the four that are given on the website itself. But in addition to that, when you sign up to take the Casper exam, you will be offered a practice exam. So I logged in for you guys. As you can see, I already took the exam. I took it a little late in my opinion, but I just wanted to show you. They give you sample exams. Now they have two up. Take advantage of them. You can just go on. And as you can see that there are 12 sections, it has the break. So it's pretty much exactly how the real exam would be. So please take advantage of this. So whether that's day before or the day of, whenever you get a chance, I highly recommend you taking advantage of that. That practice exam will be exactly the same format and timing like the Casper exam. It will give you video-based questions. It will give you word-based questions. Even though you will not get a score and they won't tell you how you did or if you answer the questions the way they expected you to, it's still a good practice exam because it will be timed and you'll get an idea of how fast to type, how fast to go through the question, what to think of when you're doing it, and just get an idea of what to expect when you're sitting for the exam. 
Now, in terms of the two types of questions that come, which I kind of briefly went over before too, the video based, it's going to be a scenario that's going to be acted out for you. So they're going to show you something that's happening and it's going to end with a question. So let's say they're three friends in some sort of dilemma and they're going to ask at the end, how do we solve this dilemma? For word-based questions, it's a little different because they require you to refer to your own life. So they'll give you some sort of scenario or hypothetical situation and expect you to give an example using your own life. So it could be like, when when was there a situation when you went through blah, 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 right? And you have to discuss it and you have to go through your thinking process. How did you handle it? How could you have handled it better? What would you do better next time? So it's all ethical questions. They're just trying to see your thinking process and how good you are at handling a situation. So in other words, how good are you at problem solving? Now, just to wrap it up, I'm going to give a brief summary of everything that we went over. This is an exam that you take at your own time where you schedule it whenever you want to and you take it at home or wherever you want to you need to have wi-fi you need to have webcam the test is $12 itself and $12 for each school that you want to send it to you will never see your score the scores will be automatically sent to your schools the test does not require proper grammar or spellings you can write in full sentences or bullets whatever you want as long as you're answering the question there are 12 sections to each exam each section has its own scenario for each you have three questions three questions have to be answered in five minutes now if you want to prepare for this exam there is a practice exam that the website gives you please take advantage of that take it seriously consider the 15 minute um, optional break if you see that you're not that fast at typing or you're taking too long to think practice more questions i will be making another video as to how to tackle each question given on the Casper exam, I will go into details of how to break down the question and how to exactly organize your answer so you're able to hit everything that they're looking for. So stay tuned, check out my other YouTube videos. If there is a question that I didn't answer in this video, please let me know through the comments below or any kind of future topics that you'd like me to cover. Please let me know through the comments or you can always DM me through my IG account and before you go, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell.